everyone, it's Jamie. I decided to make a shaker card today. So I have a little process at the end of the video for you if you're interested. Um, I also included the coloring of this cute little guy. Isn't he so cute? This is new from Honeybee, from their newest release. It is Penny the Platypus, and the stamp set is so cute. I had to play with it. I love it because she's got these arms that you can just tuck these little items in and have a card for almost every occasion. You get flowers, um, a latte for graduation, um, a happy mail, if someone's feeling sick, a birthday, there's balloons, there's little bows. It's just super cute. And the die is great. It ha cuts out everything. It even cuts little slits around the arms so you can tuck the little items in. Isn't that sweet? So I also use this die from My Favorite Things. It's the A2 Rectangle Stack Set 2. Uh, I still have some in the shop, so I'll have it listed below. I use that to create the frame. So I put um, the largest one and the third largest to create the frame. Um, then I have a little banner here that says happy birthday. That's a lawn fawn happy birthday. So I drew in the grass with Copics. I did um, coloring with Copics and then I went over with some colored pencils. The, the balloons are in the background and I included a little string like he's holding it with the present. For the clouds in the background I used the MFT stencil. So I think it came out really cute. It shakes. So that's always fun to receive a card that has little shaker elements in it. And then it just opens up like that. And I thought it was so fun to make. So I hope you guys enjoy the process. I'll have that included. And thanks for stopping by guys and check out the Honeybee Haul um, video I have coming up next. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Break down the awkwardness. Put on my boots and a lily white dress. A million words, but how to express what I'm feeling when I see. Flash a smile, I'm like, is this happening? I look your way and then of course drop everything. You walk over and ask if I'm alright. Hey, whatever it takes to break the ice. Don't walk away, there's more to say. I just need the courage to let you know what's on my mind. Like every time you pass by something. Just say hi or whatever it takes to break the ice. Do you have a roadmap? 
that I can try Cause I think I just got lost in your eyes <laughs> I have to tell you I really want to Whenever I look in your eyes I won't make the same mistake twice I'm ready to shake up and break the ice So I decided to add some color pencil work to my little image and I think it just made it really, really pop. So you'll watch the coloring. You can see the before and after. Um, I'm using the Prismacolor pencils. I used a white and a black pencil um, to darken up the detail work here and on the edges. Um, I ended up using the pencils because I tried putting highlights on his little feet with a uh, jelly roll pen and I messed it all up. It didn't look good. So I was like, oh no. So I just scraped off the ink and then I colored over the ink with the black um, colored pencils and that seemed to work. So then I just started <laughs> doing some pencil detail and I'm like, oh, that wow, that looks really cool. I made his beak look really, really cool. Um, so I'm like, oh, let me just do some more. <laughs> and I love how it gives you the little fine lines on your um, image. Really, really um, pretty. So I didn't do too much on the balloons with the pencil, just a little bit of blue there. The rest is with Copics. I didn't do any on this one. But I want to make a shaker card, so I used this... Um, die from my favorite things um it's called a2 rectangle stacks set two um, it's still in the shop so i'll have it listed below i used the largest one and then the, not the second largest but the third to create the frame i used the present on this little guy i'm going to turn this into a birthday card um, what's great about this set is that the die will cut out around the arms so um, it's a really, really great die to pick up. Um, I didn't use the die. I have a brother scan and cut and I just used my craft knife to cut around his arms. And then you can slide in your little um, present or there's um, a coffee cup, a graduation um, theme. He's got the hat, the diploma. Um, some flowers. You can do Mother's Day. There's a little Happy Mail envelope there. Um, you can do Get Well because there's a Band-Aid and a soup. There's a flower. There's a heart. So this could be used for many, many occasions. So I love that. So I think I'm going to do something with the background here. So since I, he looks so awesome, <laughs> Um, I didn't want to do just a plain background, so I want to maybe draw some dirt with my Copics, maybe in the pencils too, to coordinate with this guy, and then maybe stencil in some clouds or something. E39, let's see, this one's E18, that one's darker, and E59. See if those are gonna blend. Which one is this one? Yeah. Okay. So I gotta remember E59, E18, and then E39. So I wanna create some dirt. Well, hmm. 
Maybe I want to have him sit on some grass because that's going to be too much brown. He's not going to pop off of the dirt. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Yeah, so let's do some grass instead. So I'm going to get out my trusty colors for my grass. So we've got YG11, YG45. Let's see. G21, G24. YG41. Okay, which ones do I want to use? I think I'm going to go with the YGs so it will go better with this paper. I'm just marking it so I know how high to do the grass. I'm going to start off with my lightest just in case I mess up anything. I can kind of fix that with the darker color. So I'm just going to go straight across and just do some flicking. Some long blades of grass. I'll go back with YG45 and add um, some fine little strokes. I just pulled out some green. They have my white and my black in case I decide to use any of that. So let's see. I'm just going to make some flicks with my colored pencils. Kind of fill in the white spaces a little bit. Kind of brings in this color, so I like that. I gotta sharpen this. It's so much easier to use the color pencils when you have them super sharp. But I'm gonna put a little bit of white highlight in there just a little bit break up some of the green Looking pretty cool. So I just um, never used the black for shading before. And then I started seeing some um, people on YouTube use it and I thought it looked really good. And I never would imagine that the black would be good for the shading. Um, Jessie Banks on YouTube. Um, you got to watch her coloring videos. They are just amazing. You can learn so much. And Sandy Alnock is another one that I like to watch. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, black strokes in here.
looks super cool. So now let's work on the sky. Some more green down here. Okay, so I think I want to do the stenciling with the cloud stencil. So I have the My Favorite Things cloud stencil. I have my Distress Oxide inks. I have my Nuvo blending brushes. So I'll do a soft background. So let's see, faded jeans and broken china. Do I want to put in another color? Do I want to add some yellow? Okay, so I think I'll put a little bit of yellow for some interest at the bottom here. Do I want to work my clouds down, up, down? I'm going to start from the top, so I'm going to start with the blue. We'll start with faded jeans. Pounce on the stencil first. And we're not going to add any more ink because I just want it to be soft. So let's get some broken china in there. Okay, I'm going to do the yellow. So let me get the yellow in. Well, that will be covered anyways by the little image. So let's see. Oh, shoot. I just smudged. Maybe I'll put a sentiment over that. Cute. Very, very cute. Maybe my frame will cover. No. Let's see if I can buff it out. <laughs> so I'm just going to splash the top with some water. Let's get my image out of the way. So 
so hopefully that won't be so noticeable. It's been a while since I made a shaker card, so I forgot to add the acetate uh, window before I added my fun foam. <laughs> so I had to cut out another, another frame so I could sandwich the acetate window in between so I could get my <laughs> shaker window. So let's put this together on the inside here. So I'm just gonna glue everything flat down since I'm going to turn this into a shaker card. So I want my balloons. Let's see. So he could be holding the string. Let's see how that looks. I might have to cut the string. Might be a little bit too long for my scene. I forgot to um, cut out two strings. <laughs> so let's see if I can make this work with one. I have these little twirly strings. So maybe this one could just be floating away in the background. Let's see how that looks. So I have that string or this string. 